everyone, welcome back to The Soulful Cook, where I share with you some of my favorite healthy plant-based recipes. Today we're gonna to be making a very classic North Indian dish, dal makhani, which is usually made up of lots of butter and lots of cream. Since this is a very healthy plant-based channel, we are actually going to make it completely oil-free and vegan. We're not even going to be adding any vegan butter at all. If you want to make this extra rich and extra creamy and really get that makhan taste, then you can always add vegan butter if you prefer. This lentil curry is a combination of whole black lentils and red kidney beans, and it's the perfect dish to get you all the nutrition and protein that you need. If you want the detailed version of this recipe, head over to my blog at thesoulfulcook.com. All right, let's cook something healthy. Here's everything you're gonna need to get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prep all of our veggies. So I'm just gonna dice up one large white onion and for this recipe, you do want to use a white onion instead of a red onion. White onions are a little bit sweeter, so it will enhance the flavors of the lentils. And we're just going to finely chop that up and set that aside. And now I'm going to take three large Roma tomatoes and do the same thing, finely chop those up as well. And then finally we're going to take one serrano pepper and dice that up. You can use a jalapeno as well, or you can totally skip this step if you don't want spice. And now in our instant pot with the saute mode on, we're going to add one teaspoon of cumin seeds. And you want to make sure that the instant pot is hot before you add in the seeds. It will help them crackle um, a lot better. Add in our diced up onions and we're just going to mix that to make sure the onions are well coated with the cumin seeds this will really bring out a lot of good flavor once the onions start to stick then add a little bit of water and this will help saute them and help them soften as well and they'll cook down better too as usual, this recipe is oil-free, so we're not adding any butter. Um, we're just gonna use water to cook it down. We're gonna add half a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. And then once those are nice and soft, we're gonna add in our serrano pepper. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more water just to make sure everything cooks evenly and nothing sticks to the pan. And then I'm gonna add in my tomatoes. And you wanna saute that really well until the tomatoes are nice and soft and completely cooked through. If you need to, then you can add a little bit more water as you're cooking. This will help make sure nothing sticks to the bottom. We're gonna add in our whole spices, which is two bay leaves and three cloves. And then we're gonna start off with our ground spices. Half a teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, a fourth teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, 
one fourth to one half teaspoon of red chili powder, and then finally some salt. And then we're just gonna mix that to make sure all of the spices get cooked properly. About another two to three minutes. And what you want to do is you want to take the end of your spoon or spatula and just kind of gently smush the tomatoes and onion mixture. This will help give a very creamy consistency later on with the lentils. All right, so now we're going to add in our soaked and washed lentils. And then I soak them overnight just to make sure they're extra soft. And then I'm going to add three cups of water. Just going to give that a really quick mix. And then close my instant pot and just make sure the nozzle is set to sealing. And then we're going to set that at manual pressure for 35 minutes, followed by a natural release. All right, so now you'll see that the lentils and beans are cooked properly. I like to take a whisk just to make sure everything is nice and mixed in together. And then I'm just gonna put the saute mode on and let that simmer for a little bit. You wanna make sure the consistency is just right. It shouldn't be too thin, but it also shouldn't be too thick. I'm gonna just add some freshly chopped coriander and then mix that in together. This will just help really give it a nice fresh taste. Again, that's totally optional. We're now gonna add in our coconut milk. And this is where the creaminess will really start to kick in. So you wanna make sure you mix that and let it simmer for another five minutes or so. There you have it, easy and healthy dal makhani or lentil curry. If you're looking for more healthy plant-based recipes like this one, head over to my blog at thesoulfulcook.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.